Hey, what's up, humans? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. This is episode 17. In the last episode, we went back to the shaded woods and made our way through that fog of war and ended up fighting a boss who reminded me of Quaylag. And, uh, well, this lady was attached to a scorpion with two tails, a dual tail. And that was an easy fight, though we missed an item in there because I didn't know that that she is supposed to burrow under the ground and then burst up through and destroy the, the log with the item on it. So, we missed an item. Hopefully it's, it's nothing too special. Then we found our way in the doors of Pharos. So, I believe that is a place where we can get a bunch of Pharaoh stone. Well, in theory, of course. Uh, because, you know, we have some Pharaoh's locks uh, in, in uh, the Lost Bastille and still down there in the, the Grave of Saints. I believe it's called the Grave of Saints with all the rats. So... We're going to continue our journey. Probably going to head back to the doors of Pharos. Or we're going to continue on our journey in the Shaded Woods. But again, there are doors and areas in this game that we cannot... Uh, we can't get into because we don't have the souls or we can't uh, produce something that says that we are king. So we do definitely have a bunch of areas that we have to go back to. So, without further ado, let's level up from that last fight. Level up. Let's go with some more decks. And vitality and endurance. Vitality should help us with our our build here so that we can we can hold a lot more stuff. A lot more armor. But man, this this lance made short work. Of, and I forgot her name at this point. You need armor. Go. I know it starts with an N. But man, that was a fight. That was a fight. I would like this Olivor helm, sure. Then we need another. Pretty much 6,329 to get that Thanks one. For purchase. Do come again. Yes, yes. Indeed. And all we have here. Let's see how much this is. Too much. Might as well use this one too. Looking for armor? Buy one of those. And buy the greaves. So we're almost done with the Alva set now. Hopefully it gets more. Thanks for the purchase. Do come again. Yes, yes. There were some items that I hadn't read in the last episode. I totally forgot about it too. So I'm gonna do that. Do you have anything now that I found that place? That place? That place? No. Lonely times. I need another branch. 
Well, maybe I only need one branch, but... Bearer of the... Less... There was an old man in a wheelchair down there in the Shaded Woods. Najka is her name. Soul of Scorpioness Najka. Nashka was born of the misdeeds of an ancient being, a frail soul from the being, a frail soul from the being, that soon succumbed to madness. Right. Weapon? Where is the weapon? That we just got. It's right here, the Black Knight Halberd. Halberd wielded by knights who served a lord of light in a long forgotten age. Even after their flesh was charred by flame, they, re uh, they remained as strong as ever and stood watch, challenging visitors to their land. Whoa! Whoa. I knew you. Let us reinforce it or see what it would take to reinforce it. Twinkling Titanite. It does fire damage. Sea fire, B scaling with uh, decks. Where's this other axe? This might be the one. I mean, what are you gonna do, really? Well, that's all we can do. I'll be around I mean, if you make it back. It does as much damage, essentially, as as the lance here. What attributes are you talking about? I need nine faith. And a twirl. We got a twirl. Let's turn this back on before I make a mistake. Nine faith, huh? Look at the blade! Three spin. an interesting blade. I think eventually we'll try it. Let's get the lance back on. Just not right now. Oh, wait. I don't think we were done. Scraps of Life, an esoteric spell created by Neb uh, Nablan, the infamous exiled sorcerer, awakens the souls of the long-buried dead. The heretic Nablan was executed along with his entire village, and the mere utterance of his name became a crime. Some say it was because he sought to restore the banned art of resurrection. 
Sacred Chime. See if there was a ring I didn't read. No. We need to have our shit repaired. What? You like it? I don't have any funds. I'll be around if you make it back. I'll always try to make it back. So yeah, let's go back to the shaded wood. The shaded woods. Can't target these guys. As we all know. It's too busy being afraid of these. So this guy's in front of a chest, there's another guy that's in front of the area over there. And we only have the one branch. So that's disconcerting, of course. Who's in here? Uh, that's my first encounter with that character. You got a shield, you like shields? Where are you? Where are you? That one's gold and he's staring at his frozen friend. Pharos Lockstone, yay! Hello? You look like a lion. Red Lion Warrior Cape. He, oh, so he is a lion. You're in the way. Sound like those goat dudes in Diablo. We just weren't done uh, exploring. There seems to be thing around here. Liar! There's really nothing up here. I have a decision to make. Because there's plenty of frozen people around here, but I would like to unlock areas and go to them.
Okay. There are also one in here. This guy's in the way of in here. Seems like there's only a chest in there. I guess the hole I fell in. Bug, right? Bug? Unless if I already killed it. I already killed it. Alright. So I think I've made my decision. I'm not sure if it's a good, good decision. Come here. There's not this meter. Ow. Flame butterfly and a torch. Oh no. I have been cursed. Another Pharos Lockstone. What is that sound? Probably should have gone down here first. I am seeing a scorpion person that I cannot seem to target. That must mean you're safe. What's in here? Dark Scythe. Alright. I 
can jump over. That's a good thing. I really don't want to drop down. Please don't hurt me. Please be like Quelec's sister. It's got words right in front of him, so. I still can't target him. I can talk. Friend. Look at this guy. I need something for him. So last time in Dark Souls 1, there was a ring that I needed to wear. I also selected that ring uh, as my keepsake for the very beginning of the game. And then uh, one of you had suggested that I will not understand uh, what that ring does until I don't have it. So then at that moment I decided that I'm going to wear the ring for the rest of the game. Because I guess, you know, and you only have two rings, so it's like I'm wearing this useless ring. But it was like right at the moment, like right before I fought Quelag, is when I decided, uh, when they told me that and when I put it on. So just pure happenstance that we just happened to beat Quelag, go all the way down and meet her sister. And she was able to speak with me. And then I was fucking around somewhere else, you know. I was like, I'm not going to wear this ring the entire time. I need other rings. Put on other rings, and I would continuously come back to her because I was working on the uh, the covenant with her. And uh, all of a sudden, she would say what, what this scorpion says, and that's dot, 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 question mark. So there's got to be a ring. But I don't know which ring it could be. So I'm going to try this ring. We have more notes over here. It just showed up. Friend, it says. You say nothing again. You say nothing. So, how about this one? Nothing. Okay. How about... probably read it
going over all rings I could think of. Oh, I'm such a peasant. So I have no idea. I have no idea. Probably don't even have the ring, so. Let's go back to our ring of blades and call it good. Wait. And this one. <laughs> I better find this ring somewhere. If it is indeed a ring. Jesus, so many. What's down here? It's like we're getting lock stones, no problem. for petrification yes hmm. we read that but that has nothing to do with this guy anyway because this isn't petrification no up there. I see it. Because there are several ways that I want to go on our journey here. So, shut up. This way. It seems to lead to the same place. Bastille, uh, servants' quarters, I want to say. You go down the ladder, and then there's that area in the servant quarter. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I know that we have been here for a very long time, but after I got those two lock stones, I kind of want to do this before I forget.
Bill Free Luna. Are you a friend? friends a long 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 time ago the princess she made me yes just like so to guard this bell for the prince's honor stay away foul and dead or you'll be a goner <laughs> stay back it belongs to the princess it do There's a pile of your friends right here. This wasn't really the one I was thinking of. There's another one with all the statues. That's the one I'm really thinking of. So where is that one? That's where we're going to use these two lock stones. Here. Because I know about that area. And then the uh, other one. Which I'm trying to think of where that one is. Where is that one? I think we have to go this way anyway. Hi! You know the one I'm talking about, right? Pretty sure I did press X on that before. Everybody needs to calm down. Down here. That's the exit out there. I need to go upstairs. Oh, there. Yeah, right. 
right here. Hold on to your butts. It's still a maze, but, you know, at least going through here for like the last few episodes has been, uh, there's an enemy in here, right? You almost caused some blood loss there. Yeah, this is the room right here. All right, Ferris Lockstone. Soul Vessel. Okay. So it's really looking like that other area is where we go. Where does this go again? Quit it. Come on. It's trying not to fight you. Hey! I ought to fetch a new one. Flair. Oh, yeah. This guy's got the. Oh, no. We bought the Uchi Katana. Sure. Oh. I wanted to fight this guy. Oh. Seems like I am bouncing around a bit. Kind of want to do what I said I was going to do first. And that was. Let's go out here. Unblock this path. Where do those come from? He 
he strikes me and causes this damage? That's not good. Unless if it's just I'm close by to something. We have a headless man. Does that mean... And he's got the same colors as this helm I'm wearing right now. Is this Bengarl's body? Trying to figure out what this uh, status means. Sin level. Affiliated Covenant. I don't know. So you see right next to the up arrows? I don't know what that is. I can't tell what that is. So I'm just a little confused. Facing the other way? Hey! That looks like the area where we found the helmet in Bengarl's head. Who gave us the helmet? Somehow he gave it to us. Without hands. Just below this area, which I assume. Oh yeah, this guy's an enemy. Please don't hurt me. Well, he's dead now. Was Vengarl's body. Congratulations. Torch. So, what else is in here? I think you're a liar. And that's the other way. So, there were two ways in here. You're a liar. What about this guy being a liar? Okay. I mean, he is a liar. Be wary of tough enemy. Which I'm assuming would be Vengarl. But we got all of his armor now. Not just the helmet. This would make me so heavy. Vengarl was known as a raging deadly warrior, even Ferosa's lion knights. A motley crew of rabid fighters kept him at arm's length. Go ahead and read the helmet again.
I see. Oh. I don't know if we can make it around there. Oh, we're very close to this now, so can we talk to you again? Back again? Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Found your body. Ah, it was you who vanquished my body. You're welcome. It is my body, you see, and I can sense what happens to it. I do not mourn for it. Good riddance. If you wish for help, Summon me. I'm rusty in battle, but will fight by your side. I was born in Feroza, a land in the distant east. When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbors. Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered. I've been a cell sword ever since. All I ever knew was war. And I can imagine no other way to live. What a fool I was. I am grateful for these peaceful days. But such contentment lies only in the here and now. Why must life be so confounding? I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I was a hired hand, yes, but we soldiers stared death in the eye together. And for his highness, I am afraid. But perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. I was born in... when I was... eventually... I've been a... all in... what a... Red Rust Sword, Claymore, Great Sword, Red Rust Scimitar, Red Rust Shield. I want to buy some of these. Oh, I can't finish your your stuff. Sure, I'll buy four of those. Farewell. May we meet again one day soon. I have all of your armor. I have two of your weapons, I believe. Let's see here. Uh, the first one is going to be the Red Rust Sword. Of Vengarl of Forosa. Forosa. This sword is battle worn and terribly rusted, but remains a deadly weapon, owning to its incredible weight. Legend has it that it was built to test the limits of the strength of Forosa knights until Vengarl swung it about like a wooden plaything, claiming ownership by demonstration. Where's the other one? Curved sword. Of Vengarl of Furosa. The sword is battle worn and terribly rusted. Blah blah. Legend has it that it was built to. T okay. The same thing. It's a different weapon. Well, I'm going to use a homeward bone and get the flock out of here. Let's go back to the Belfry Luna. I know, I know, I know. You don't gotta yell at me. If you are enjoying this content, leave a like. 
because apparently there's a shiny thing that shows up whenever I say that, but not when I say headbutt the like button. So, come on, work with me, work with me, YouTube. If I just say leave a like, there it is again. <laughs> you know, it's just boring. That's why I say headbutt the like. Is it just doing it over and over and over again? Alright, you. Scary dwarf boy. There are a pile of your bodies right here. And here, and here, and here. The first dwarf I've seen, and the 200th dwarf I've seen, all in the same spot. So what is going on here? Okay, can we jump this? Doesn't look like it. So we're going to go upstairs now. fuck do you want? Ah! If I join your covenant, are you going to attack me? I mean, I haven't found any more rat tails. And again, I just believe that if I was to, to not be a part of the covenant, that I would be able to find, or I'd be able to kill all those rats and get some rat tails for them. And then rejoin the covenant and be like, ah, see? Skeptic Spice. Right. Totally believe you at this point. I totally believe you. So this will go inside of this area. Is there a reason to be in here? I guess we could easily leave afterward. Never thought I'd be fighting dwarves. Doesn't seem like we can get out here. Okay. I'm gonna go see what's in that room with all the dead dwarves. I'm gonna come back up here. go up the ladder because clearly we can't do anything with that gate.
get some equipment. Here, stone ring. Thought we already had one of those. Oh no, the clear blue stone ring, not the blue, the blue tear stone ring. A ring is set with a rare tear stone reacts when the wearer is in danger, temporarily increasing its wearer's defense. Katha, goddess of tears, mourns those who have lo lost loved ones by shedding pure tears of blue. It is said that the stone is set in this ring it is one such tear, just like the red one. Who knew that there was more stuff? I mean, like, well, we had those two lock stones, but who knew that one of them was going to lead to a new area? Belfry Luna. What's up here? Let's go slow this time. You guys need to calm the fuck down. Open. And open. Radiant Life Gym, Twilight Herb. This is the bell. This is a bell tower. You gonna ring it? Are we going to ring it? Calm down, little man. Okay. And we're going to ring the bell. out here see blood stains or it looks to be like gargoyles great gargoyles if you've seen my playthrough of the first Dark Souls you'll know that I struggled with some gargoyles The Belfry Gargoyles. Guarding the first bell tower. And if you... Well, you didn't see me struggle with the... Uh, with the... Gargoyle Twins down there and... God, I forgot its name at this point. In the... In the Eternal City... Right? It's like, those guys are mean. Or is it Nokrom? I can't remember. 
which one it was, but, you know, those gargoyles are mean. All right. I guess we're going to fight some gargoyles or something out here. I'm guessing gargoyles. Multiple gargoyles. I didn't realize. What kind of fight this would be? Get out of there. Panic roll. Oh, you got fire too. Of course you do. Die here, man. Oh, God, there's so many. They're all becoming awake. You have the Just waiting for the last one to get up, I guess. You guys can stop if you fire at any point. Got one. Gargoyle Soul. Yo! That was not happiness. been all over this place. Where's that damn dragon that I didn't see but heard? Woo! First try. Alright, well, we'll uh, What's in here?
I have no health. Chest down there. Thankfully, I didn't have to fight one, two, three, four more. I think uh, from software knows when something is absolute bullshit and they just aren't gonna do that to you I mean like hard enough as it was to have that many gargoyles right there but pretty easy to deal with well there's a blood stain next to this southern ritual band I gotta read. I gotta read. There you are. Soul of gargoyle of the soul of a gargoyle of the lost Bastille. The elaborate stone statues on the belfry mysteriously came to life. Alright, there's nothing there. Oh, I do have another weapon. Which one is it, though? Scythe? Dark Scythe. Uh, has an extended slashing reach when a sw when swung broadly, but beware these attacks make though yeah yeah okay, so nothing special. Um, The Southern Ritual Band. One of the secret treasures uh, restored in Aldea raises the number of spells you may attune. The modest looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one needs only recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldea. Interesting. Is that a bonfire? Liar! Someone once told me that that's like my catchphrase. I'm like, uh, I mean, like, he doesn't know me very long. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, ever since I've been playing from software games, uh, I say it a lot. Try item, then hurrah for ring. Light the bonfire. Praise the sun. Why are people dying here? Are you jumping off? Where does this go? I don't know, but I need to rest here. Upper ramparts. Majula. We're going back to Majula. First things first. 
I'd give new. Okay, well, I would like to uh, repair this. Thank you. I'll be around if you make it back. Then, go back over here. Grab the last bit of armor for Alva's set. You need armor? One, one, zero. One. So that's Alva's set now. I don't care for infantry anything. Let me know down in the comments if I have to get uh, the royal soldier stuff and the infantry armor and the falconer armor. Because I feel like I, those guys in the Shaded Woods right at the beginning, I feel like those guys are falconers considering the shield. Uh, not here. I have the shield. Thanks for the purchase. Do come again. Yes, 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 yes. Sh -sh 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 shield. These guys. Golden Falcon Shield. F Falconers. Vulgan Falconers. So I believe if I was to just like keep fighting those guys maybe they would drop their armor just let me know down in the comments because i do want to get all the armor sets looking for armor <laughs> i'm rich i don't home okay. are you sure well i may sell out while you're away you have sold out i bought them all but then again not really <laughs> all right what's next level up bearer of the seek seek Less. How far away are we from? Oh, we're one away. Yeah, sure, I'll pop it into that so I can use the halberd. The halberd we just got. More efficiently, I should say. Am I dead? Am I undead? Yes, yes I am. Done a lot. We're just not done yet. Travel to the belfry again. Okay, wait. Check this out. Sort of just noticed this. Every single one of these areas has a little outline. Most of them are white, some of them are orangish red. Why is the Lost Bastille, Sinner's Rise, and the Belfry Luna red? It's like, I'd say it's because we haven't done every, everything there, but at the same time, the Doors of Ferris is white. The Shade of Woods is white. Oh, and the gutter is white, and Black Gulch is white. So, this is confusing to me. Why are they red? Let's go back here. Where does this ladder lead? We will be ending the episode soon, so... I mean, trust me, I don't... I think now's a good time to check how this weapon's gonna do. Uh, what was this one, right? Okay. Because... Because of that, 
type of attack right there. We can probably hit multiples of, of them. Multiple people. Or multiple dogs, I guess. Shit! Oh god. And I'm about to be fucking invaded. Or I am being invaded. Sucks. I missed. There you go. Bye bye, buddy. Vorgel the Sinner. I still gave you stuff. Enchanted. Franchon. Human. Effigy. Liar. Ahead. Hurrah for treasure. Dragon tooth petrified something and bright bug. Okay. This is everything down here. No illusions. This place was full of them a while back. This weapon is pretty good. Oh, he died. Pretty good, but I'm just a bit confused. Uh, anything else? I mean, anything else? Incredible. So that's one thing I wanted to say about um, these From Software titles. Okay, no, that's that bonfire over there. Um, yes, yeah, so at the beginning of even Elden Ring, or even before that, I said. I was never going to play these games. It just, I didn't. I thought, because people talk like this all the time, I thought that you, like, would just die and die and die. And that, that is true for the most part. Uh, but I'm only dying because I don't know what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I'm being an idiot. And I'm not learning from my mistakes. So. Um, it punished me for not learning my mistakes. But after you learn your mistakes, and and you uh, you know keep going and you keep challenging yourself, then it becomes easier and easier to the point where it just feels like I want to say Zelda, but at the same time I haven't played many Zelda games. I've played a bit of Breath of the Wild. I played and 100%ed uh, Majora's Mask and played in 100%ed uh, Wind Waker. And so we have some similarities between Dark Souls and Legend of Zelda, but like I'm 
Don't come at me in the comments for this, okay? It's just my opinion. Because it just feels like that the exploration is similar to Legend of Zelda. Um, but yeah, I mean, after I've uh, dipped my toes into Elden Ring, then I 100%ed Elden Ring, because I couldn't put it down. And I'm a little upset that I didn't do that for the channel itself, but... Um, I mean, you can go back and see the New Game Plus stuff. I mean, I was not having uh, good luck with my recordings or anything like that. Lots of freezing. I also was playing on PS4 at the time, and that sounds like a jet engine uh, about to take off, you know. Very high-pitched whine that only comes in when I speak through the mic microphone. It's not here now because we're on PS5. But it just feels like... We're going back to the shade of wood. Uh, it just feels like there's, you know, like I I missed out on this originally when it came out. I'm having fun with it now though, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, really enjoying my time here in Drang Lake. Those sounds. It's awesome. This is awesome. I'm really having a good time in Dark Souls 2. And it's very, very difficult to remain absolutely spoiler free since this game came out. But I think, and I definitely haven't come across anything that's been spoiled for me. The only thing that I do know when it comes to this game, to Dark Souls 2, is that this is the least favorite of the Dark Souls games. And I don't really know why. I mean, okay, in the beginning, this whole like curse thing that we have, where when you die, then your health drops as you can see there you know it's like it only gives you so much more of your health yeah this takes a little bit more hits okay little more than just yeah, i do love pole arms so no jokes about that in the comments please um, yeah, I mean, Dark Souls 2 is, I think it's better than Dark Souls 1. There are some things I don't like about Dark Souls 2 so far. Like, always having to come back to Majula. Of the curse. Seek so, seek less. No, no, I'm done talking with you. Hold on. It's like having to come back to Majula just so I can level up. That is annoying. Uh, at the same time, it's not that big of a deal to me. It just may seem like I'm always coming back to the same spot. Oh, we're gonna make them cry. I mean, four more Twinkling Titanite for that. Let's get the Lance up. Let's get the Axe up. Alright, those are the ones that I've been working on. The Raw Axe. I'll be around if you make it back. Travel back to Shaded Wood. Again. Because <laughs> it's like we should be spending more time here. Here. Than anywhere else. Where do I use 
the uh, the souls I've been collecting. There you go. Now that's more like the the lance. I like the wide arching stuff here. It's really nice. I have a fire weapon now. Ow. Been down there. Still need more branches of yore, though. More branches of yore. And this is the boss fight that we had. We can't do anything about this item. Please let me know down in the comments if this is absolutely useless. Didn't seem to bother this one. Is this item useless? Pointless? Useless? I feel like that's the second boss that we've barely had any trouble with. Well, actually, I would say that I did have trouble with the Belfry Gargoyles. That's because there are like five or six of them. Or just four. I don't know. Four is enough. When you're all spraying fire like that and trying to kill me. And we made it here. Of all places. This is where I thought I would find some lockstone, but we found some before we even got back in here. So that's all right. Let's go fight these dudes real quick, and then so I'm gonna put on my other one. I have a halberd now. Aren't you jealous? Jealous elephant man. He hit me. Upsetting. Mastodon Great Shield. We'll read that before we end the episode as well. And then this guy reminds me of, uh, and I'll have to get his name as soon as I'm done here. Germ Great Shield. I think I already had that. What is, is that guy's name? Is it just Germ? Is that, is that what I wrote down? That is No Man's Sky Trading. Where is it? Sorry. Gavlin. Yeah. So Gavlin's Germ. I'm guessing because these guys look just like him. That guy's minding his own business.
Knowing what I know now about these things, God, that was so stupid of me. Comfort ahead. Friend or ally? Really? Or is they supposed to be down here? Doesn't look friendly. Try victory. And yeah, where the hell is Gavlin supposed to be here? I'm scared. I think maybe Gavlin's supposed to be here. These are his people I'm slaughtering. I know that there's that, uh... Bonfire down here? Yeah. So we, we'll just chill. That's cool. Ah, so, if Gavlin's supposed to be here, then I think the next time I should go back to No Man's Wharf, see what's in those buildings with those scary-ass enemies, the big hulking dudes, um, see what's in the darkness in there, in those buildings, and get back to Gavlin and see what we can do to get him out of there, if that is the case. I guess I said I was going to read that shield. Just a shield I need to raid. This one? No, this is the Gurm one. Where's the other one? Anyway, a great shield used by the nomadic Gurm. Appears to be a stone monument that was converted into a makeshift shield. Naturally, it is quite heavy and haphazardly crafted, but very few attacks will make it past this monster. This m m monster. <laughs> Mastodon Great Shield. Shield of the Primal Knights that defend Drenglik Castle. Very heavy and has the power of lightning. The shield has the power of lightning. The brutish and mighty Primal Knights wield this shield as if it were made of paper. But to the ordinary warrior, it is a chore to even hold up, owing to its great weight. Whatever was created by Lord Aldea was lost with his disappearance, but the king attempted to revive these things, even if only fragments remained. Word. Word up. Word up, dudes. Humans. Humans. Ah. Uh. I always want to just continue playing. I have recorded this before the other one comes out that is just the nature of things. So if I'm not doing something that you had mentioned in the comments of this video or the last video, it's probably because I'm getting really into it at this point and I just don't want to stop playing, but I can't play on my own I have to play uh, and record so thank you so much for watching humans headbutt that like button subscribe for more content like this and leave comments down below about this episode I have asked a lot of questions so please leave some comments and if you got nothing to say I guess I'm going to take a page out of Harris's book and say leave your favorite emoji because engagement. Let's try to get this out to even more people. And I'll see you in the next episode of Dark Souls 2. See you, Starside.